All right, Aquarius, it's your turn. All right, so let's see what we have for a general message for the sign of Aquarius. All right, it's the strongest energy I'm picking up. All right, it may be your message. It may not be your message. All right, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share button. All right, so let's see what we have for the Aquas, the Aquarians. It always makes me think of a water element, but it's an air. Yeah. It's like because of the aqua. It makes me think of, you know, water. And with the symbol, it looks like waves. Maybe it's because some of you might be like a... On the cusp of like a water sign, like a Pisces. I don't know. We'll see. Um, not everybody, obviously. But I don't get why they... I don't know. I might have to look into that. But anyway... Aquarius, are you looking at some people's pictures, someone's pictures? Are you missing them, feeling nostalgic here, wanting to make some new memories? All right, let's see what we got for the Aquarius. What else do we have here? I feel like it just brightens up your day when you see their photograph. And it's got like a sim similar little wave on it as Aquarius here. That's, wow, I just noticed that. I mean, obviously this one has three, that has two, but it's very similar. Twin flame, Jesus. Well, no wonder. This is your, like, zen. No wonder, you, no wonder you're missing them. It's your yin to your yang. Wow, I feel like they like to compliment you. You might like to compliment them. Wow, we've got the dragonfly. All right, so things are starting to come to light for you, Aquarius. Could be adapting to some type of change, but right now I feel like you're wearing a poker face. It's like right now you're just not having it, all right? It's like you're watching, you're, you're really, really watching whoever this person is in your life. You might be gaslighting them a little bit. You need to be more lighthearted and less gaslighting. Something is like, things are coming to light where you're going to have to adapt to some type of change. All right, let's do one more shuffle. Something's going to be very unexpected. It's the things that are going to come to light, the things that you're finding out. Maybe you're finding out this is your twin flame. Because twin flames are rare. Obviously, depending on where you live, you might not be seeing dragonflies right now. But if you just like, you don't have to technically see them outside. It's just like seeing them in pictures or in commercials or billboards, t-shirts, anything. And it's like, and the dragonfly just sticks out. That's how you're going to know this is for you. This dragonfly is going to be of significance big time here. So I'm not saying like pay attention, but keep your, keep your eyes open, all right? And don't discredit. If a dragonfly catches your eyes on a t-shirt or something or a commercial, anything, anything. If you're scrolling through your news feed on Facebook and you see a dragonfly, there you have it. Or... Um, whatever anyway we got the peace card so do you feel peaceful when you like reminisce because you're missing this person and i'm feeling like with the peace card it's saying it's like you get a sense of peace when you look at these memories when you look at their photos you just get a sense of peace it's it could be a divine masculine that's got a very ex like strong attraction here that's why they can't help but look at your photos because i feel like they're just mesmerized you might be a very beautiful person we got the protection so this relationship is protected okay the twin flames obviously are going to be protected when it comes to the divine I'm, I'm getting like a house wren. If you see a house wren or like a house finch, 
or like a sparrow. It's going to hold significance here, this bird. Changes could be coming. But let's look into the dragonfly next. But you're really just watching, looking. It's here twice. You're sitting back with sunglasses on, hiding. And maybe it's because you don't want people to know. Maybe you're looking at them in person too and you wear sunglasses so people can't know. Or maybe you wear sunglasses a lot, like not technically, but you kind of hide in like the dark. Got the realization. I don't know what you're going to realize, but something's coming to light here. Something is coming to light. It's something that's going to, like, create something here. Create balance, discernment, how to do things in moderation. I don't know. All right, let's see what we got for the photographs here. I feel like somebody gets very excited when they look at your photographs or when you look at their photographs, Aquarius. Got the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you reminisce like how you could, you know, be free and how exciting this relationship would be. Because obviously something's going on here. I feel like you're kind of exploring your feelings at the same time. I feel like you feel like you can live the good life with this person. You can be free, adventurous, abundant. Yeah, and then we have, wow, and then we have not just like living the good life, but really living the good life. This is the Pisces card here. Um, so you could be a Pisces, Aquarius, Cusper. Um, but yeah, it's like somebody's got a lot of passion, a lot of desire, a lot of good things that they see they can have with you when it comes to their happiness. Because freedom brings happiness. When you're free from things, you're at peace. And I feel like you, whoever you're dealing with, Aquarius, brings a lot of peace into your life. It's your zen. We have the moon, but something here, I feel like, oh God, yeah. So we literally have for the twin flames, yeah, you guys are heavily protected here with the temperance card, all right? There's an angelic force protecting you guys, because you guys, yes, you, you've had past lives together. You've encountered one another. You know what you feel it. And then you have here the ace, the ace of wands with the six of cups, with the sun and the six of cups. So yeah, it's like you have a lot of beautiful energy when you two come together here. Beautiful. It's like birthing a new creation here. And I saw the creation card. It's a new beginning. That's what you're going to find out. You're finding out. You're realizing what this relationship is. You're seeing that familiar feeling. And it's time to renew we got a lot of fiery energy here. But yeah, we do have Pisces with the moon, Scorpio, Cancer. I kind of see it as all. But it's like somebody's emotions are up and down all over the place. They might be deceiving themselves or others when it comes to how they feel. Because things are coming to light, and I feel like it's the feelings, the emotions. So let's get an outcome. We do have the star card here. Let's see what we got for an outcome for the Aquarius. <laughs> we have the Empress. Abundance, good things. Delays are necessary at times. All right, sometimes we get hit with the double-edged sword, but the one thing that brings us is clarity. Somebody has clarity over the Empress here, over where their abundance and prosperity lies. Could be dealing with the Tauran, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Aquarius, 
could be dealing with the Cancers, Pisces. We have two Ace, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Miracles are happening. All right. You're going to find out miracles are happening. Things are coming to light. You're going to adapt to change. You're going to heal. We saw that with Star card. We see that with the Six of Cups. All right. After a separation, feeling beaten, feeling wounded, you're going to, miracles are going to happen after when it is all said and done. We have three aces. We have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Something stable, something solid. All right. Clarity leads to triple renewal in this situation. And the Empress is three, right? Brings renewal. Renewal brings abundance, prosperity. So you're dealing with a very angelic um, energy. The Empress could be kind of having a little angelic energy within herself. All right, but it's time to balance. It's try to. It's time to use discernment here with the Temperance here also. All right, do things in moderation. All right, so that might be some of the things that you're finding out. But yeah, we see clarity here. All right. Good things are coming in. Divine wishes are being granted. You're going to get hit with the element of surprise. All right? Or you're going to hit them either way. All right? So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. 